it's Around Town with Mandy. And we've all been waiting and waiting. And it's finally come. The YMCA has started. And I'd like to introduce to you Derek White. Derek, how are you today? I'm wonderful. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. So the YMCA. It's here. We're excited. They're pouring the foundation now. So all those folks that have been asking, when's this going to happen? It's actually happened. It's Tru happening. Trucks are moving. And we're looking for a date towards the end of next year. Yes, it'll be about a 14-month build. So okay. August of next year is the anticipated date. Nice. And then for someone that's not familiar, tell them where the Y is going to be located. The Y is right here across from uh, Queen Anne's County Middle and High School. Yes. Uh, right next to the new county buildings. And so we're really excited. It's going to be a great spot for kids to walk across the street. Absolutely. Uh, it's also, as uh, we were talking, going to house the senior center. Yes, so it's that's a, big. It's a perfect opportunity for a blended uh, experience here. Absolutely. Yeah, one of the things we've talked about is just the importance of making sure the community is aware Definitely. of how this is progressing. And so right now you're seeing the foundation behind us. Uh, that will continue. We'll have contracts out here doing plumbing work and electrical and then we'll pour a slab and then you'll see it starts to go vertical in uh, late July early August so it's there gonna be we special go. we, so we call it the front porch of the community it's wh wherever you live throughout the county this is a place where commonality happens where you come together and so you may not come and exercise but you may come for a swim meet yes you may come for after-school activities and so it's it truly is a place where everyone comes together I started with the Y in 2005 as a lifeguard mm -hmm. and then I became a camp counselor nice and now I'm I'm a yoga instructor over here in the Queen Anne's County Y. Nice. And now I bring my kids there too, so we yes, have a lot of so fun. Yes, we have Lottie mm -hmm. and Calvert. Yes. Calvert, um, what is one of your favorite things you like to do at the Y? I like to play in the pool. How about this one? Maybe this one's going to have some like interactive classes and things for kids. Okay. Does that sound like fun? Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. How about you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when I first came to the YMCA, I was a bit nervous, but it's a very social place. Uh, I think the pool will be something exciting, and I just like how it's like a place for you to be feeling safe and know that you will be working out, swimming, doing something. You can work on the equipment, obviously, on the equipment? but there's also classes. I think I'm really looking forward towards the pool, obviously. The That's pool. a fan fave. Yeah. yeah. I'm also looking forward. It's going to be a lot bigger space. I like, um, and the community there is just really great. Every I've never had a bad experience going there. Everyone's super nice to each other, and it, it almost feels like a family in sort of a way, and yeah. I genuinely really like that about the wide scene. Mm, well, I'm looking forward to maybe the pool, because I do like to swim, I haven't, but I haven't gone swimming since the pandemic, the beginning yeah. of the pandemic. And treadmills and exercise equipment and the weights that I use at the other Y too, the current one. Nice. And I do like that alongside listening to video game music on my phone. It is. And so part of the process has been raising the money. Exactly. We ha we've had very gracious support from the county commissioners. We've had gracious support from the state level with this being a senior center. Nice. But we also, uh, you know, it's a $24 million project. Yeah, it's so and that's, cheap. It's, it's a lot of work that has gone into this. And so we are looking for individuals who have a desire to personally support it or have a desire to ask others to help. We have about $5 million left to raise and we're confident that we're going to be able to do that. But we want people to think of it. This building is going to be a hundred, a hundred years from now, it's going to be standing here Absolutely. long after we're gone. And so when you're thinking about your charitable dollars, invest in something that will be here for our kids kids yes exactly yep. so if you uh if you're interested you can contact me uh derek white and i'll you know share the email address below definitely uh you can also swing by the ymca at 123 corsival there and, you go and uh we can talk to you about the project and you can get on a treadmill for a little bit